Sergeant Audrey Santana opens ceremonies at Thursday's Fort Meade Veterans Day observance. We'll have more on the ceremony in just a moment. Also this week, Army Exec's Revenge on Navy. November is Native American History Month, and the Baltimore Ravens play 60. Hello, I'm Brian Spann, and welcome to Mead Week. These stories and more, but first I have some very important news on some traffic changes to pass on. Starting Saturday, November 22nd, the Reese Road Gate will be closed for about four weeks for scheduled improvements. During this four-week period, Fort Meade's 24-hour, seven-day-a-week access control point will move down Route 175 to the Mapes Road Gate. Additionally, the Llewellyn Avenue Gate will be open Monday through Friday from 5.30 in the morning to 6 p.m. for visitors, businesses, and non-DOD ID card holders. While the Llewellyn Gate is open, DOD ID card holders are being encouraged to use the installation's other access points at Mapes and 175, Mapes and 32, and Rockenbach Road. One final note, Llewellyn will be closed after 6 p.m. and on the weekends. All visitors should use the Mapes 175 gate. In other news, the 15th annual Fort Meade Army-Navy flag football game took place this week. Last year, after years of Army domination, the Navy savored a blowout 33-8 victory. This week, the Army team restores some order by stealing back a year's worth of bragging rights in a dominating 19-7 win. Sponsors for this year's game were joined by USAA. The financial giant, along with Under Armour, provided both teams with uniforms. A video production team was in town for several days filming practices and, of course, the game itself. The video will be released by USAA through social media and will be aired on Jumbotrons during the actual Army-Navy game in Baltimore in December. You can stay tuned to Mead TV and the Fort Meade Facebook page for the latest information. Meanwhile, on Thursday, the garrison hosted Fort Meade's annual Veterans Day observance. Special guest speaker Congressman John Sarbanes got his introductory remarks in just before the skies opened up and forced the ceremony inside the Fort Meade Museum. This year's keynote speaker, Air Force Major General Jim Keffer, the U.S. Cyber Command Chief of Staff, spoke about why the U.S. military is the most trusted organization in America. Uh, the reason is, it's because the people we have in the military. It's because of you all here today, uh, the veterans, the uniform members, the civilians that are part of the team. It's the institution as a whole, but that institution is made up of individual people, like all of you here today. And you're the reasons why America keeps us on top. In sports and health news, the National Football League is supporting a nationwide program called Play 60. The program is designed to build awareness of the problems associated with childhood obesity. This week, several members of the Baltimore Ravens, including Kamar Aiken, Will Hill, Jeremy Miles, Brandon Williams, and Steve Smith Sr., were on post to conduct a football clinic for dozens of Fort Meade's youth sports participants. The kids also got to meet some Ravens cheerleaders as well. Anybody else want an autograph? What's your name? David. David? In other news, November is National Native American History Month. The Garrison's annual observance is coming up next Wednesday, November 13th at 1130 in the McGill Training Center. This year's guest speaker is award-winning storyteller Dovey Thomason. The event is free and open to the public. For more information, contact the Fort Meade Equal Employment Opportunity Office. And one final reminder this week, the Fort Meade Officer Spouses Club is holding their annual Holiday Bazaar Saturday and Sunday, November 15th and 16th. The bazaar is being held in the Fort Meade Pavilion. More than 70 gifts and crafts vendors are expected to participate. Proceeds from the event support the Officer Spouses Club Community Grant and Scholarship Programs. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week. Native Americans' legacy of military service for the United States Navy dates back to the Revolutionary War. Since then, they've continued to contribute their fighting spirit and warrior ethos to defend America's national interests. Join the Navy and the nation during Native American Heritage Month from November 1st through November 30th in recognizing Native Americans who have served and are serving their country.